Hi, it's Molly from Pixology, and we're going to talk about the mess that you might have on your computer that's making it run slower and frustrating you. The first question is, have you restarted your computer lately? Like, I mean, within the last 24 hours. If you're like me, you may not have done that. In fact, sometimes all of a sudden I'll realize I've just been closing the lid on my laptop and, and not thinking about restarting it. Restarting your computer allows you to flush the RAM. It makes your computer go faster because it doesn't have temporary files accumulating. Memory leaks might go away and sometimes it helps your internet connection. If your computer hasn't been rebooted, it just doesn't get a chance to restart and if everything gets bogged down. So number one advice, reboot every day. Then your computer can reset itself and rethink where all your files are and, and just be better performing for you. Okay, so that, that's an easy one. The second question really is easy too. How many apps do you have open right now? So I'm gonna show you my desktop and while I do tend to have too many tabs open and too many apps open, I've let it go a longer time here just to give you an idea of how much you can have open at one time and how not good it is. So let me share my screen. All right. I've actually got a couple things going on here. First of all, look at my dock down below. You can see I have so many things open. The icons are tiny. This is not a good sign. If you have a lot of icons open, it's going to slow your computer down. In fact, uh, about a half an hour ago, I came in to start working on my computer and I had no internet connection. And I think it's because my computer is just feeling overworked right now. Fortunately, we've got Wi-Fi connected, but let's just um, let's just start closing things. So here's my email. I'm gonna close that. Oh, COVID-19 isolation. We've been working on um, YouTube, so I'm gonna close that. And still closing tabs. This applies for surfing the internet. If you have too many tabs open, that can slow you down as well. So oh, I've been, I help with the Lighthouse Brigade. I've got their website up. Here's my iMovie program. I'm gonna, I actually am gonna minimize that. I think I wanna come back to it. And now I've got, uh, this must be Safari open, so let's oh no 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 this isn't safari it's chrome i was using both safari and chrome to do internet searches well i have a reason for that but the problem is is i had 10 tabs open and split across both of them and no wonder my computer is choking so i'm just closing some of the tabs always think about closing tabs you don't need to have them all open I'm leaving my facebook post i posted long ago. This was actually up from yesterday. Uh, something else I don't need. Now we're diving into all the, I have Finder open. I have different Finder windows open. What, what's with that? Closing all of it. Well, here's the screen I had up because my Wi-Fi wasn't working. It's, it is now, thankfully, so I'm going to close that. And another, another Finder window, closing that. And apparently, let's see, this is Excel. I don't have an open document in there, but I have the program up. I'm gonna close that. Oh, I volunteer with Wisconsin Senior Olympics and I needed a, a PowerPoint and I'm gonna close that. I'm not even gonna, well, okay, I'll save it. I'll save it. Here's the other thing. When you have so many things open, you probably have forgotten uh what you have going so my computer could crash and then i would lose this file which would be just a logo and the words marketing meeting and the marketing chairperson for them so i could have lost that now i'm going to save it and it'll be saved and i'll close it and then i have my messages so we i been working with one of our Wisconsin Senior Olympic Athletes, and you're texting photos. I could close that. I don't need my messages up, so I'm closing it. 
here. Oh, I started typing minutes from the meeting. I didn't save it. I will, since I have six words in there that might help me later. Save as um, marketing minutes 2020-03. That was on Monday, which was like three days ago. So you can see I have been very, very bad. Now, I'm not really taking the time to figure out where I'm saving everything, but look at this document is just spinning there. If I would have saved it right away, it wouldn't be taking me so long now. That's the computer choking. So we'll let that work and I'll go to something else I have open. Here is the eighth grade packet for my kid to be working on while he is at home. Well, if you notice anything, 11 divided by 11 equals one, that is not an eighth grade level math problem. They clearly didn't have all of their stuff together when they put the, the packet together. So I have 40 pages here of math facts for an eighth grader who should be doing algebra. We're gonna close it. And then, so our marketing minutes still there. Oh, I, I have the Dow Jones up because I was curious about where the market was at. Closing that. And now I'm getting close to, oh, I have the Pixologist Guide to Organizing Photos. We have an age chart. That is a really neat way to help date your pictures. I don't need it open anymore. And so I'm gonna close that. Boy, this document with the six words is just taking its time. I'm not sure why that is. I was gonna print a song for my kid to play on his trumpet. It, the printer never got working. So I'll just close that. You're starting to see the background of my desktop. This is the third thing that people often just don't manage. And I deliberately left things up on the desktop to make a point here. You wanna keep your desktop clean. So let's just minimize the Word document there. Now, you can see all of these things here that, that are covering up my nice picture of my son when he was three and the cow and the play. I'm gonna create a new folder at least to start off. I'm gonna put desktop cleanup. Whoops. We're gonna call this rename desktop clean up. So I'm going to know that I have to clean this all up. A lot of these are screenshots that I took to uh, do work today and yesterday and for the last week probably. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to use my mouse and draw a box over most of this and try to drag it into that folder. <laughs> it doesn't really want to, do oh it did it, it all went into the folder. So I'm going to do it again and drag it into the desktop cleanup folder. And just kind of keep doing this. You know, we've been working on a create your photo estate video series. And I'm going to put a link in there for you to check that out. Because if you have pictures that are a mess, just like this desktop was, you may want to do that while we're all on some downtime with the coronavirus. All right, so I've cleaned up the desktop. Now, look at the dock. I still have a lot of things open here. I must have uh, not come, had everything uh, layered on top of each other. I've got email, and I'm just clicking this. Oh, some state forms more finder windows open. I was really trying to be good. So we're just closing everything. So keep closing the items on your dock so that your, so that your computer can run a little more functional, a little better. Here I have a finder window of my desktop with my desktop cleanup in there. That's kind of funny. I'll close it. And we got Easter photos up, don't need that. Another printer, this is the printer dialog box from work. Don't, don't need that to be going on. So look how my dock is cleaning up here, all right? I shut everything from Google Chrome, so I'm right clicking or control clicking will work on the icon and I'm gonna click 
quit. I don't need PowerPoint, gonna quit. Don't need messages, gonna quit. I don't need mail, gonna quit. And, oh, there's the grass skirt chase. You might remember that I was trying to print that out for my son and the printer never actually printed it. Lastly, I have notes. Uh, I can close that. And when you close everything, including the program itself, the dot underneath the program goes away. So I'm gonna right click on Word, click Quit. Oh, but that's the one that wasn't saving the name. So I guess we're gonna just hit Cancel and don't save. It was only six minutes, but you get the idea. So now that dot is gone from underneath Microsoft Word. So now I just have iMovie and Zoom up. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the share. I'm recommending three things. Reboot your computer. That means shut it down and restart it. I am telling you to clean up your desktop and then close all of those applications. Those three things will really help your computer feel better to use. It'll be faster and not so cluttered and you probably will not lose as many documents as you might have in the past so try to stay a little more organized it really will help so that just leaves the last thing for me to do is to shut down so take care have a good evening and check out the rest of our videos on youtube subscribe and and you never know what you might learn